Folks, thanks for coming in. Uh, I'm going to be very brief. We're going to get to it. Uh, we want to talk about infrastructure, and this committee is uh, central to, uh, to everything that's ha going to happen. Uh, I've been around long enough, and Tom and Jim and all, all of us, that uh, used to be that uh, infrastructure wasn't a Democrat or Republican issue. There are not many Republican or Democratic roads and bridges and so on. So we're going to talk about infrastructure. And, uh, and here, I want to hear what's on the minds of my colleagues here. And uh, we're going to see what we can put together. Uh, there's a number of things that are out there that the American people are looking at us to step up. Again, it's not — I really, honest to God, never have thought of the — of infrastructure as being a partisan issue. It's about — I mean, you know, a lot of bridges in West Virginia, a lot of — a lot of dangerous spots along Route 9 in terms of uh, Cancer Alley, a lot of places where we're having problems all across the country. The highest point of land in Delaware is a bridge. For, for the record. Well, that's true. That's true. And it's named after Bill Roth. Um, Our first bill. So that's right. So I tell you what, and Tom climbs up all the time. <laughs> but all kidding aside, there's a, there's a lot we have to do. And I could think of no uh, better group of people to start off with to try to see if we can come to some kind of generic consensus about how to begin. They have a lot of jurisdiction over a significant portion of the infrastructure. I, last night, I was uh, I was on the phone for two straight hours with Xi Jinping. And uh, you all know as well as I do, these folks uh, — and it was a good conversation. I know him well. We spent a lot of time together over the uh, uh, over the years I was vice president. And uh, — but, uh, you know, they're going to — we don't get moving. They're going to eat our lunch. Uh, they have a major, major new in uh, initiatives on rail, and they already have rail that goes 225 miles an hour with, with ease. They're working — they're working very hard to do what I think we're going to have to do. And I think the uh, automobile industry is already there, and so is labor. They're going to — they're working very hard to try to move in a position where they end up being the, the source of, uh, of uh, a new way in which to power automobiles. Uh, <laughs> um, which would — they're, they're going to invest a lot of money. They're investing billions of dollars in dealing with a whole range of issues that relate to transportation, the environment, and a whole range of other things. So we just have to step up. And so what I'd like to — I'm going to talk to these folks about, since they're the key committee, is how we begin this. I've laid out what I think I have to do. We, we, we should be doing They have a plan as well within their jurisdiction. But they're also very, very — competent senators who know a lot more than beyond their jurisdiction about the things it needs. So I'm looking for a wholesome conversation or a fulsome conversation. So thank you all for coming in. I didn't. I'm sorry. What did you say? Did you see the video yesterday during the impeachment trial motion reaction? Thank you. Thank you. I told you what I'm. I'm focused on my job is to deal with the promises I made, and we all know we have to move on. Today it's about jobs and infrastructure. Um, I, like other Americans, watched uh, uh, the news. I didn't watch any of the hearing live because I was going straight through last night till a little after nine. But I watched some this morning. I think the Senate has a, a very uh, important job to complete, and I think. Uh, my guess is some minds may have been changed, but I don't know. Thank you very much.